got an issue with people pretending they like what they don't Please don't bring up my issues unless you gon' deal with your own Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real though Yeah, it's funny that you got a lot of money, but that money doesn't buy you skills though I don't care if I am on the billboards, on the killing spree, I'm about to kill more Got a chain on, you pay the mill for it. I mean, what you Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vale back with another Mobile Legends video, and today we have a tips and tricks video. So I come across a lot of issues when I'm um, playing against people and I'm competing. So I just wanted to help you all with another tips video and tell you all some of the biggest mistakes that I see, and hopefully you won't make these. So we're going to be talking about farming versus aggression. Now, when it comes to farming versus aggression, the biggest thing that I want to say is you have to be patient. And that's really the that's the biggest point of this video. Patience is everything in games like this because you need to take the time to get your character strong and fed and you can only do that by farming. That means going to the jungle, killing the things in the jungle if you don't have a jungler who's dependent on that. That means going after the minion kills. That means avoiding other players if you can. Like I know a lot of times when you see other players, you just want to kill them. You feel like that's the whole goal of the game, but no, the goal of the game is not to kill the other players. Honestly, think of the game this way. The other players that you have to go through, they're just in your way. Your goal, your objective is not those players. Your, it's not to get those kills. It's those towers. You want to take those towers down. That's all you're doing. They're just in the way of you getting to those towers. So I know a lot of people, it seems like when I'm playing games, people focus way too much on the characters, more so than the towers. That's the biggest goal. That That's it. You're, in order to win the game, all you have to do is take down the towers. So that's what you have to do. You really have to just be willing to avoid trying to kill other players. Because the way that I play, I'm very passive and I focus on minions all the time. Yet the other team tries to attack me. So I'm always there just killing minions. They're trying to attack me and failing. So they're not killing minions. They're not killing anything which means they're not getting stronger. And that's the difference between farming versus aggression. I'm sitting there farming, like even if they get my health down, I, even if, I just don't, I don't challenge them, I don't attack them, I don't do anything. Like some situations, you have to know how to play it smart as well though. I mean, I will start blasting stuff at them just so they'll bag up off me. I'm not just gonna let myself get taken out because if they, if you let them kill you, if you let the other team kill you, then it's actually worth it. If you sit there and farm a bunch of minions and then they get a kill on you, that is probably going to be the equal. Like, that one kill on you is going to be equal to all those minions you just killed in some situations. So, it's definitely good if you keep them up off of you and don't let them kill you because that's really all it takes. Honestly, in a game like this, you just have to be experienced enough not to go down. Always stay near your towers. When you're um when you're trying to get fed, always watch the leaderboards. So watch the leaderboards and what's going on in the game. Watch your mini map. You need to see what's going on. What characters are getting fed? What characters has a lot of um has a lot of money? What characters are buying a bunch of abilities already? You have to see what like who in the lobby right now is the biggest threat. Then you'll be able to see which characters really know what they're doing, which characters don't know what they're doing, and that will also help you when it comes to focusing characters. So when you come across certain characters, you'll know which characters you want to take out first because they're just an easy kill, and that they could also be used as farming. If you look on the mini map and you see, or not the mini map, if you look on the leaderboards or the little um, yeah, the leaderboards, and you see that there's one person on their team. They're not getting many points. They're, they're not really going after minions. They're not really getting kills on anyone. You can probably assume that they're probably a bad person. So they're, they're a bad player. So if you come across that person, you know that it's more than likely going to be an easy kill if you know what you're doing. So it really comes down to patient strategy and really just taking the time to, to take everything in. See what's going on at all times. Always understand... Always understand the position that you're in. You need to understand if what's going on in the jungle. If this character is not appearing on a mini map, more than likely they're in the jungle somewhere. And if they are in the jungle, how many people are in the jungle? You need to keep an eye on that mini map so you always know where everyone is. And if you don't know where someone is, you, you should have some sort of a clue where they are. I think my biggest point is really just to focus on farming, focus on building up your character and, and play smart. That, that's really the biggest thing. And when it comes to playing smart, I really just broke down what it means to play smart. Honestly, it's just reading the mini map, knowing where the characters are, knowing who's the good who's the good players, who's the bad players, and really just just farming. That's all you really have to do is just get, get your character strong. And the reason you're focusing on getting your character strong is because once your character gets strong, you'll be able to take out those players quickly and then get the get to the towers 
Like, there's sometimes in, cer in certain games, I'll sacrifice myself just to kill the tower. Like, sometimes we were doing a team push. Like, we we took out the whole team. And um, the um little minions, they would not hurry up. They wouldn't hurry up and get there. So And I, I knew, because I watched them, I saw how far back they were. I knew they weren't going to get there in time before people started spawning back up. So I just got in front of the tower. I was alpha. I got in front of the tower, and I started taking the hits so that my team could move up and do what they had to do. And then my team followed. My team started, like, we had the other, like, tanky, beefy characters st standing in front of the turret. So after I died, they took the last of the hits, and then my team actually took that tower down. So that that's the type of plays that you can make. That's the type of stuff that you can do when you actually take the time to play the game properly. Everyone's farming. Everyone's on the same page. You're making sure you're communicating with your team. You're making sure everyone's listening to each other. And... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, man. That's that's the biggest tip that I have right now. I just really wanted to talk about this because I noticed I was just sitting here thinking about when do I die the most? And I die the most when I start getting greedy. I want to start off games just destroying people. And then it's like, it's just when I'm not playing serious. I'm not necessarily going for the win. Honestly, you, it's, it's the fact that I do YouTube, honestly. I be trying to get impressive gameplay sometimes, so I try to just, my goal is to just get in the game and just start shitting on people. It's not even to win. I don't go for the win. I just try to go for as many kills as possible, and that's a bad habit. So, so y'all, it's y'all fault. I'm blaming y'all. <laughs> nah, but seriously, man, I, I do be trying to show off sometimes, and that that's really the main, main times that I die. Like, honestly, I'm a passive player. When it comes to just winning... I'm, I'm very good at winning because I take the time to get fed. No matter what's going on, no matter how much pressure they put on me, it could be three people trying to attack me. I'm still pretty smart in those situations. I always keep my composure and stay calm, even though it really does piss me off when I get in those situations where it's three, three and four people on me and my teammates are just somewhere else randomly. Like, literally, none of you are coming in contact with anyone, so you don't even... It doesn't even cross your mind to go help the person who's going to come in contact with all these other enemies like that that's one thing you have to do too watch your watch your mini map for your own teammates make sure they're not in a position where they're surrounded by three people and no one is helping them that's really why a lot of people lose a lot of the time like i know when i do go down like even if even though i'm good even though i can survive a long time against three people there's some unforeseeable situations like sometimes they'll they'll take like like you know how i just said this is a perfect example of, of why it, it's stupid but i mean they get kills it, they can get kills with it so basically how i told you all out I, I will take hits i will take hits from the tower just to um get that tower down like we pushed together as a team and i took the hit so my team could push up and destroy the tower people have done that just to kill me like they they had their beefiest character step up and he was taking hits from the tower, so they all jumped on me. You never want to put yourself at risk like that. You don't want to take hits from a tower just to get one kill on somebody that you can kill later anyway. Like they could have, if, if they were that confident that they could kill me, they could just kill me later. Like why is it worth? Why is one person worth so much? It's first of first of all, it's four of you on me, and then you all are willing to take tower hits and maybe even get yourself killed by a tower just to get one person like it just doesn't add up and it's teams like that aren't very smart and but but the, the the only reason that sometimes they win games and more than likely they'll they'll probably win is because your team if your team is letting four people attack one person they're probably not a very good team so the, the other team is probably going to win because even though they're doing something stupid like challenging one person and and a tower all together that's the, that's a very stupid thing to do but they're working as a team. The whole team is there. Well, not not the whole team, but like four, three or four people is there. And that means that they're working together. And teamwork is always a good sign. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I don't want to keep talking. It's not really, I don't really have much else to say about it. I just really wanted to get my point across that um, you should probably consider farming a bit more. Like, plan is slow. Trying to communicate with your team and stuff like that. Just all the tips I've went over in this video. And, yeah, let me know what you all think. What are some of the tips that you have? Because, I, like I said, I, I do tips and tricks about things that I learned from my perspective. This is from my experience plan. But you all have experience, too. Well, unless you're a new player. But, yeah, most of you all have experience, too. 
So let me know some of your tips and tricks in the um, comment section below because I like to learn from you all. I really like to have discussions and conversations. So make sure you all talk in the, in the comment section because I, re I try to respond to everybody. I add everybody on Mobile Legends and then when you all message me on Mobile Legends, we'll even talk there. Like I'll, I'll always um, respond back to you all. So yeah, I'm not like Hollywood or anything. Like I'm just a normal guy. I'm a normal guy who loves to play Mobile Legends. But yeah, anyway, that's it, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these videos or mobile legend videos and yeah drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and i will catch you all on the next video man peace out